IBA is uh, founded by Kimbaba uh, in order for the Westerners to study thorough and more traditional Tibetan way of studying, which is if you study a text, we teach here uh, um, word by word without leaving anything behind. So therefore, since it uh, started in 2001, we have finished quite a number of texts, uh, such as the Mademeka texts uh, by Chandrakirti and also related to Mademeka texts, Kurampa's um, discriminating views and other many texts as well. But uh, all of them are uh, philosophy in nature, but side by side, we also teach, even though they are also philosophical in nature, but more geared towards the uh, practice, such as Sakya Pandita's sage's intent, and um, Bodhicharya Avatara, which is also considered the uh, practice text, and Kamala Shila's uh, Bhavana Karma, as well as Washin Kuncho Klundup's three vision. And then on the philosophical side, <clears throat> in addition to the Madhyamika Avatara, um, we also finished teaching here uh, Kuramba's text on Abhidharma and um, also the first three chapters of the Abhisamaya Alamkara. And now this year we finished uh, Nagarjuna's letter to the King Gautami Putra as well as uh, Maitreya's um, Pratna Godar Vivanka or sometimes it is known as Putra Tantra Shastra. And so these are the types and the you know um, philosophical nature texts we teach here. And the benefit for students is of course um, its goal is for those who are very serious uh, in terms of studying as well as practice. So um, it is known in the world that if you want to do something, you have to know how to do it. So these uh, texts teach you how to do it, how to put things into practice. And that's why uh, not only it is important, but it is crucial if one is very serious about practicing, then that person should really know uh, what is involved in the practice. And uh, the way to do it is going through the text. And uh, so those who have time, the more study, the better it is. Because then when you are in the midst of practice, you will encounter many questions. And at that time, the questions will be answered uh, through the uh, study that you have done at the IBA. So um, that's basically uh, the you know kind of a long term benefit for studying at the IBA. Three trainings are uh, important in general in Buddhism and Buddhist practice. Uh, the very famous uh, Vasubandhu, Indian master Vasubandhu said that you have to have a firm uh, ground or the foundation and that is the morality. And if your foundation is good, then whatever you build upon it will be solid. There will be no danger of uh, collapsing it. So therefore, on the basis of firm, good foundation, which is morality, then you have to have the listening, which means uh, listening to the teachings. And in order to grasp the meanings of the teaching that you receive, you have to have a very one-pointed, concentrated uh, mental tranquility, uh, for which uh, you need the second uh, training, which is the meditative concentration. Even though if your moral ground is very good, and also mental stability is good, if you don't have the wisdom of prajna, then you know um, the 
information that you will receive uh, or understanding that you will have will be limited. So therefore, the third training, the uh, prajna or the wisdom is very, very important. And uh, particularly the wisdom <coughs> is the, in other words, most important thing in every level of practice or understanding of the Buddhism. Because the practice, or oh, sorry, the uh, prajna or the wisdom is the direct antidote for ignorance. And so uh, practice and study everything is uh, mainly for the purpose of eliminating our misunderstandings and ignorance. When we are able to do it, then it means we are kind of diminishing or making our defilements become less and less. And then finally, you know, with a very strong supreme practice of the uh, prajna, then we will be able to eliminate all ignorance from its root, including its residues and imprints. So therefore, uh, among the three trainings, of course, the basic the uh, morality, which is the ground, the foundation, is important. And on, in addition to that, then the uh, mental stability is also important. And then uh, the prajna is equally important, if not more. So in that way, three trainings are important, very, very important. So those who come here, uh, particularly from the West, um, what I would say is that getting the uh, instructions here, that means you are receiving the Eastern uh, knowledge. And if you combine that Eastern knowledge uh, on the Western knowledge you have already acquired, then it's going to be wonderful, like East meeting West. And then integration of these two will be, I think, wonderful for individual person to enhance their way of life. Uh, we have been able to uh, give three month semester per year so far. And during that semester, we have morning class, which is on the Buddhist philosophy or practice. Um, that is from 8 to 9.30, and which is the most important class uh, of the semester. And all the students uh, attend that class. And then after that, at uh, 9.30, uh, we have the tea break. And at 10 o'clock, we have uh, Tibetan class. And Depending on the students here, in the past we have offered uh, the <clears throat> elementary Tibetan class, which means for the beginners, as well as intermediate in a second kind of uh, level uh, class. And also sometimes I teach a more advanced level of uh, uh, translation uh, class from Tibetan into uh, English. And um, then uh, the morning class will be retaught. Uh, in other words, it's a, it's a review class at 2 o'clock, uh, 2 to 3. And then the mainly uh, the class ends at 3. Um, then the most of the time is uh, self-study at the room. Uh, and uh, let's see, then also the main classes, the uh, philosophy or practice class. In the past, we had um, um, the translator uh, from class will be taught in English, directly in English. So uh, then in the future, it is possible that there may be a class uh, directly taught in English and which will be, sorry, in Tibetan and then translated into English and other uh, languages as well, uh, depending on the availability of uh, translators. But in the past, uh, we have uh, uh, 
translated the class, entire class, into Mandarin Chinese. And the future also, um, Mandarin Chinese is one of the, the possibilities, as well as French and others, as I said earlier, depending on the availability and the need for such translation. And, and this can be arranged, and we are hopeful that in the future, more translations uh, from Tibetan or from English into other languages. At IBA, um, the texts that we um, teach here, not necessarily just for the Sakyapas, uh, we teach basically uh, the texts that are translated from Indian um, original Sanskrit language and which has been translated into Tibetan and now uh, then we teach those texts and those are for everyone uh, whether you are involved or affiliated with the other uh, Tibetan sects you know you can also benefit from from it except for few like uh, as I mentioned earlier the Sakyapanita Sages Intent and Triple Vision, the most of the other things are just general um, philosophical uh, Buddhist texts that is accepted by all. So therefore, everybody can benefit, everybody is welcome to join the IPA. Uh, not only the uh, people who are in the Buddhist centers, but also people who are in academic uh, universities and uh, colleges and so forth. Those who are in the Buddhist studies and want to uh, further their studies in terms of the uh, real Buddhist uh, philosophy, then this is the place to come. And so I hope uh, people will uh, get this information correctly, uh, not thinking that this is uh, specific about one particular uh, tradition, it's not. It's for general uh, Buddhists, everybody. Uh, but only thing that you have to have is a genuine interest and enthusiasm. And then with that, everybody can benefit.